Stanislaw with Motion VFX, and I'm very excited to show you the new M Title Cinematic Pack. There's 50 customizable, professionally designed templates to choose from, so you can focus on making your project look the best. Let's get started. After purchase and installation, find M Title Cinematic Templates in your Titles and Generators tab, located on the top left of Final Cut Pro. Clicking on this will open your Titles and Generators library. Select M Title Cinematic. To preview any of your title templates, hover over them using your mouse cursor. Once you have decided on a template to use, just drag and drop them into your timeline, either atop a clip or in the primary storyline. Changing the duration of any of the templates is as easy as dragging the end handle to your desired duration and releasing the mouse. To make changes to the position, scale, or rotation of your template, click to activate it and use the on-screen controls. To make simple changes to your text, click the text in the canvas and input your own characters. There's no limit to how many titles you can add to a project. Each new title you bring into the project will be a unique one with its own set of controls and properties. Because I want the same size and position, I think I'll duplicate this by holding on to Alt Option and dragging it over. Let's put this on the other side. But if you're looking to further customize these templates and access all the controls, let's use the inspector. Inside the inspector are the different controls for the selected template broken into different categories. The Animate In and Animate Out checkboxes will either activate or deactivate the title template's build-in and build-out animation. Here's an example of the different ways this works. Below are controls for position, scale, and rotation. These are the numerical representations of the settings from the on-screen controls, perfect if you're looking to dial in specific values. Something that may be new to you are these float controls. There's two controls for float. First, a checkbox to turn the effect on and off. And second, a content float amount control to set how fast the title will float. Changing the amount to a negative number will make the title float in the opposite direction. Some titles may have different controls. Near the bottom of our published parameters is a content shadow control. Activating this will add an outline shadow to our text for this title template. In this project, I have a couple clips of a friendly game of extreme tag. Cinematic title number five is almost perfect. I'll drag this into my timeline between these two clips Currently, it has the word true highlighted, and I'd like to highlight the words true and story. Inside the inspector, I'll start with changing the font to one I'd like to use. To make changes to the highlight color, click the color well and choose a new color. Close the color picker when done. Beneath the highlight color are the controls highlight start and highlight end index. These controls will set which word or character group will be highlighted. My start is set to 3, and the end is 4. If I change the end to 5, it will highlight both the true and story words. Let's finish up this project by adding just a few more templates. For more information about M Title Cinematic and other great tools and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Again, my name is Stanislaw Liberto with Motion VFX. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.